Hello. Uh, today we're going to be graphing linear non-proportional relationships using slope and the y-intercept. So we can use the slope-intercept form to graph a line. Uh, we know that the basic form of slope-intercept is y equals mx plus b. Uh, it is the slope-intercept form of the equation of a line. The, in this form it's easy to see the slope and the y-intercept. Uh, because we remember that slope is the m, it's always in front of the x, and the y-intercept is always after the x, that's the b. So you can use this form to quickly graph a line by plotting the point at 0b, that's your y-intercept, and using the slope to find a second point. So just a real quick review. The y-intercept in this equation, y equals 2 thirds x minus 1. So if we, and if you need to, you can always write right above it, and that's going to help you. Your b is at this point here, is at negative 1. So therefore, the y-intercept on the graph is going to be at 0, negative 1. So that's this point right here. We can use the slope. In this case, this is your m, is 2 thirds, uh, to find our second point. So we're going to start from our y-intercept at uh, 0, negative 1, and then we're going to count up 2 and write 3. Because remember, slope is rise over run. And if we have 2 thirds, we're going to go up two from this from this point. We're going to go up two, so we're going to go one, two, and then we're going to run three to the right. One, two, three, and that gives us this point right here. Once we have that, those two points, we got this point and this point. Now we can draw our line through those two points. So let's see. That is. Let's see if I can get this. Pretty darn close. There, there's your line going through those two points. So see how we took what we knew, we found our y-intercept, plotted it first, and then we used our slope, and we did our rise over our run, found a second point, and then drew the line. So let's try this one. On y equals negative 5 halves x plus 3, what is our y-intercept? Well, our y-intercept is at 3, so that's our b. And so we're going to look for the point 0, 3 on this graph. So we're going to come over to 0 and up 3. And this is going up by 2s. So we're going to go up 1 and a half. And it's actually going to be right there. Then we're going to use the slope, which is negative 5 halves. To plot the second point. So we're going to start at 0, 3, and because it's a negative 5 halves, we're going to go down 5 places, and then we are going to go right 2 places. Okay? So we're going to go down 5 and right 2. So we are actually going to go this, and remember these are going from this point to this point are 2, so we're going to go down 1, 2, 3, four, five. And I'm just going to put a point there just briefly. And then we're going to go right two places, which in this case would be one whole unit. So there's our second point. These type of graphs can be tricky. So you want to make sure that you are um, counting very carefully when you're doing that. And then you're going to draw your line through both points. There we go. Well, looks like that might be as close as I can get for it. Okay. So there's our line. We have, we start, we found our y-intercept. We use our slope, 
went down 5 and right 2 because it was a negative 5, positive 2, and drew our line. Okay, and then when you draw your line, don't forget to put an arrow on both sides because these lines are continuous. Um, try this on your notes. What is your y-intercept? Identify it. What is your slope? Identify it. And then draw your line. So our y-intercept in this equation is, and our slope in this equation is, and then graph your point. Okay, you should have found that your uh, slope was at 1, and, or sorry, your y-intercept was at 1, and your slope is at 1 half. And then plot your point at 0, 1. Went up 1 over 2, since it was our slope was 1 half. It is positive, so we're making sure we're going in the right direction. And draw your lines. Don't forget the arrow at both ends. Okay, in number 3, what is your y-intercept? And what is your slope? Once you find those two in your notes, graph your uh, points and draw your line. Once you found your y-intercept was at 4 and your slope was at negative 3, you should have plotted your y-intercept at 0, 4 and then using the rise over run method knowing that it's negative 3, if we put a 1 underneath it, we're going to actually go down 3 and we're going to go right 1 negative 3 over positive 1. And when we do that, we go down 3 over 1, plot our second point, and then draw our line. Double checking that it's a negative angled slope. If you have any questions, please make sure that you speak with your teacher.